So jazz, as it as it kind of developed out of the uh, American music tradition uh, with uh, Black Americans, has adopted its own unique form over the years in Australia. Although in the early days, uh, around about the World War II period, it uh, drew very heavily on on the U.S. jazz scene. Uh, the fact that many of our citizens who are keen jazz lovers and supporters and musicians uh, troop off to New York City and elsewhere in the U.S to appreciate and listen and learn about jazz is uh, obviously a, an indicator that uh, the US is still playing a major role. My view is that, uh, that it's, a, it's the classical music of the, of the 2000s, really. It's, a, it's improvisational music that develops according to people's own environment, their own, uh, their own interest in, in developing new musical forms. Uh, it's so hard to pigeonhole jazz in a particular area, even though the early days of uh, New Orleans jazz played that uh, formative role. Uh, it's moved on, I believe. Uh, there are still elements of that in Australia in various uh, conventions and clubs, but uh, there are so many types of jazz now that uh, there are as many types of jazz as there are types of motor vehicles. It's an art form that is appreciated by, by growing numbers of people in the community. And uh, I think the, the US influence on that has been seminal. Australian jazz is moving out in a number of different directions. It's not so much influenced by the US anymore as, as the opportunity for Australian jazz musicians to go to the US and play their style of jazz. And I think Australian musicians are starting to receive a little more recognition uh, overseas these days as well. There's something about jazz and its freedom, I think, that attracts people. Every once in a while there's a performance that you go to that you come out of saying, wow, what have I just been through? That's fantastic. And you never forget it. It grew out of those early days where people like Billy Taylor composed music that promoted freedom. So jazz, jazz speaks as a universal language. We don't need it to be spoken by politicians necessarily. We just have musicians that pick up an instrument and play it and it's makes its own message, says it all. And just to see people mixing together and enjoying music is a fantastic way of developing relationships. <laughs>